know what to do with you. I'm tired of talking. Don't fire me, please, Mama. Yeah, sorry. you're always sorry. But this time I mean it. I'm dead serious. You will never hear a negative thing about me ever, ever, ever again, Mom. Please, I need this job. Yeah, and I need it too, but you making me look bad. Please. Please, Mom, I'm your son. Mommy. One more time, you hear me? No more times. How about that? If I get one call about you, you are fired. Better you than me. You know, I think that's fair, Mommy. Don't Mommy me. What up, y'all? How are you? What's good with you, bro? It's young. You know, living the dream. Yeah. How about you? Doing the same thing. That's what's up. That is what she's all. I'm having a party back here. Right on. Save me some. Jamal, anytime you're ready, buddy. Donald, you starting the next day, yeah, man. Thank you, man. How was I it? Am. How was it working with this cast of characters? You got Mike, you mm. got Wood, you even had Debbie Allen in there, yeah, Cisco, yeah. all all this great. Cast. How was the, the camaraderie on set? It was awesome. Um, everybody was. First off, everybody was really excited to be working on the movie, but then everybody was excited to be working with each other too. Um, you know, it's not every day you get a cast where you get people together who actually respect each other's work. Um, and speaking for myself. I love most Def. I love Mike Epps. I love Wood Harris. You know what I mean? Um, and uh, I've had the opportunity to work with Wood Harris and Mike Epps uh, a couple of times. So it's always great to go back and do something with someone you're familiar with. Um, and it's not every day you, you know, like I said, it's not every day you get something like this. And it's not every day you get an opportunity to be with people like this. Now, being on a, having a cast with like all the peers, it has to be different than being on a movie set where it's you know. I mean, I know we we all as, as an actor you would strive to be on a on a movie with anybody, Dustin mm -hmm. Hoffman, whoever. But mm -hmm. isn't it is it different when you have that that group of people that's just your peer group kind of? Uh, yeah. You know, if I were doing a scene with Dustin Hoffman, I probably would be so nervous. And I mean, one, you know, I try and keep up with him more than anything, you know. No matter what anybody says, this is a this is a game. It is competing too, you know what I mean? Um, and I try and keep up with him. Uh, but yeah, there would be so much involved if if I was sitting across from Dustin Hoffman and he was reciting lines to me. Uh, it be it take a while before I'd be able to at least concentrate and focus in on, you know, uh, what he was saying. Because for the first 10 minutes, maybe two takes, I'm sitting there like, holy crap, Dustin Hoffman's sitting across from me doing the scene. With most Mike and Wood, yeah, you know, you you, you still want to keep up and you still want to be, you know, funny with them and you still want to compete in the scene and listen to each other. But, uh, you know, it's a big difference. Dustin Hoffman's an Academy Award winner and, you know, we're just, we're just trying to make it happen right now. Each and every one of us. Oh my God! Yeah. Leo, I saw that. No, you didn't. Here, try not to drop this one. Thank you. I'm glad you're in a good mood today. What's up? You're not mad at me no more? I'm not. But I can't speak for Miss Jackson. She wants to see you in her office right Sweet now. Sweet word. See, look at you. <laughs> Wait, yo, let me ask you something. What? Who was the dude that picked you up from work yesterday? Who weren't? He's just a friend. What did you say his name was? Barton. Barton? Mm. His name's Barton? Mm -hmm. He broke up a week ago. I mean, he got a nice car, but he ain't got nothing on me. Look, Leo, I'm sorry, but I'm in love, so do what you want to do with that. I hear that you're writing and producing projects on your own now. Uh, what's, what type of, uh, what, what can we see from you as a filmmaker down the line? What do you see yourself going? Well, you way? can see next to air. I produced this movie. I don't know if anybody cares or anything like that, but it's... Something His I did. Name's right there. Name's right there. Name's right there. <laughs> um, what type of films, what type of stuff will you see from me? I don't know. I'm different. I'm a different dude, you know? I'm into stuff like Dungeons and Dragons. I'm into stuff like, you know, I love rap music. That's not necessarily different, but, you know, yeah. I'm into sci-fi. So, I don't know. Maybe you'll see a sci-fi uh, sci rap from me one day. I don't know. Shoot. Uh, the sky's the limit, I guess. Uh, I'm I'm enjoying myself thoroughly right now, though. People looking forward to next day. They are also looking forward to the NBA playoffs. I know you're a big basketball. I'm a fan. huge basketball fan. Yes. Give us your prediction right now. Barack picked the NCAA champion. What you got? Wow. Um, 
I honestly believe it's going to be L.A. versus Boston or Cleveland. Um, I don't see anybody really beating them. And don't, don't I, well, I take that back. Dwayne Wade might have something really big to say in these playoffs coming up. But for some reason, I really feel like it's going to be L.A., Cleveland, or Boston, one of those three teams. But definitely L.A. I don't see anybody in the West beating L.A.